This is a daylight testing of a Teleview 21mm Ethos eyepiece, 100 degrees. And uh, let's just see what's the uh, view. Okay, that was the view to the Teleview Ethos 21mm. I'm using the Skywatcher uh, ED80 uh, Pro Series upper chromatic telescope, lovely uh, gold version, and uh, with just a normal focuser. And what I was looking at was that hanging basket there, which I'm now zooming with the um, telephone camera just to give you a scale of the view field of view I'm going now to put a Teleview Nagler 31 um, millimeter uh, type 5 eyepiece Okay, this is the Teleview 31mm Nagler Type 5, uh, 82 degrees. I'm going now to give you the view of this eyepiece compared to the 100 degree eyepiece ETHOS 21. Let's just go. And both of them have used the Teleview Eye Guard, so both have the same reduction if there is any reduction in the field of view. As you can see, the field of view is very wider. That's the difference between the 21 mm Ethos and 31 mm Nagler. The weight almost the same, so I didn't change the position of the uh, balance position of the telescope on the um, Dobsonian mount that I'm using. And uh, at the same time, uh, I didn't need to change the focal uh, focus too much. Almost nothing. The power focal almost. So these are the two eyepieces that I was using. You can see Ethos 21 is a bit taller, but uh, Nagler 31 is a bit fatter. What you can see also the difference is that they almost weight the same. Put together, they, each one of them cost, I think this one is around 800 pounds, and this one is around 700 pounds. So put together, one 1,500 pounds is here. You can buy a car with that. I was using the uh, this telescope, Skywatcher Pro, Pro Series ED80 upper chromatic telescope, with a dielectric uh, Chinese uh, coated two inch ninety degree mirror diagonal. And uh, this is the setup.